Mel has Oregon's quarterback Justin Herbert going number six to the Chargers. And then Utah State quarterback Jordan Love going 23 to the Patriots. And this is going to be a huge debate leading up to this draft. The discussion between these two quarterbacks after Burrow and Tua. It's going to be one of the most interesting pieces that we have here. While Herbert had more touchdowns and a better QBR, the pair's passing yards were nearly identical this past season. And Mel, I have you for one more moment here. So tell me why you right now have uh, Herbert over Love, and do you think it's possible that by the time we get to the end here, that flips? No, I think Herbert is solid. You look about Senior Bowl week. Love was there. Who was the MVP? Who was the top quarterback? Was Herbert over Love? Same thing in the game. Combine, Love was impressive after a, sh a shaky start. Herbert was outstanding as well. Herbert, a great pro day. What has Herbert done wrong? He's done nothing. Think about Love this year. Granby lost a lot of starters, pretty, but there were four games, including LSU, where he was 51 and change percentage or less. Eight games where his touch interception ratio was equal or below what you want. And three of those games weren't just LSU. It was New Mexico, Colorado State, Nevada. New Mexico, Colorado State were combined six and 18. So you can't excuse away the year that Love had, which was obviously less than stellar from what he was the previous season. I will say this too, Granny. Thought about the Raiders. The Raiders are at 12 and 19. Will Mike Mayock and John Gruden go out and get Jordan Love, let Mario and Carr figure it out this year, and then have Love to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mahomes in that same division? Thought about that as well at 12-19 and 19 for the Raiders, and, of course, New England picking at 23. So it's going to be very intriguing as we get there. Mel, outstanding again. The Mock Draft 3.0 is up on ESPN.com as we speak. Thank you, Mel, and we will see you, Thank you again soon. Let me bring Orlovsky and Spears back in on this. And, Dan, I know you see it the other way. As of right now, you are higher on Jordan Love than you are on Justin Herbert. Yeah, Greeny, it's not really even close to me in my mind. Um, you know, being home a bunch, what I've done over the past 10 days is watch a lot of HGTV. And I want to make an analogy for everybody with these two quarterbacks. Okay, Justin Herbert is like this really good-looking house that's built really well. It's got all kinds of really nice upgrades. It's in a good place. But every time you see that house, you walk away going, man, there's something just doesn't seem right about this house. It can't, you can't sell it. It's sitting on the market. No one wants to buy that house. And then Jordan Love is this house that, you know, it's, it's in a great location. It's in a good neighborhood. It's a nice piece of property, but it needs some upgrades. It needs some love. It needs some TLC. And you walk away every time you spend some time looking at the house you walk away going, man, um, there's some good bones on that house. And with a little bit of an investment and a little bit of um, effort put into that home, you could walk away from a dream house. And that's the, the analogy that I see with these guys. You look at Justin Herbert and you go, man, like you should be what, what I want at the quarterback position, but it, I just don't for some reason. And then I watch Jordan Love and I go, man, there's some special stuff in that game that coached better, better footwork, um, a, a greater understanding of that position. And there's there's this potential to have the, the, the top blow off and be a really special player. So I do break the tie. I'm going just to Herbert. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm norm, normally I'm, you know, I base it off competition. So I'm play well at the end of the year against Arizona State. So I'm play against Auburn. And plus, he was in Mario Cristobal's offense, who really is a runny centric offense. He likes to play uh, downhill, big physical line of scrimmage. Justin Herbert, to me, could be a project, too. Like, we're at a point now with quarterbacks where you do have time. We just heard Mel saying to us to take a red shirt year. How do we know Justin Herbert got the right type of coach? And he went through a few coaches while at Auburn. And also, when you look at it, like, I don't get enamored too much about the stature of quarterbacks anymore. Kyler Murray proved me wrong in that regard. Tua, obviously, what he was able to do in college. But I look at these guys, and it's just like we're talking about Jameis Winston now. Like, where is that fit? Where is that situation where a guy can become peak? And I think Herbert's peak is higher than Justin Love's peak. And we'll wait and see how it plays out. And we'll mention Mel has projecting love to the Patriots. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.